Good day and I love you. Everybody loves my hair. Everywhere I go, they say, oh, I love your hair. And guess what? I am a white woman with dreadlocks, the color of fire in the Bible Belt of Georgia. I know. Say it ain't so. It is. Now, guess what? I have talked about having fire-colored dreadlocks for a very long time. And here I am at the ripe age of 44. And I have manifested my heart's desire. So I am literally walking in the flesh with what I want. Right? So, and how do people respond to me? They say, I love your fire hair. Maybe people hate my hair too, but they don't tell me. Which is nice because if I, if you look at me, I like to decide that you love me and think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. Because it keeps me on the right side of things. If you do think it, well, we cool. And if you don't think it, I like to think you do. So anyway, it's win-win for me and you. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. So, here we are with this massive conjunction in Capricorn at the end of the week. We have Pluto and Saturn sitting on the south node, being expanded, magnified, and catapulted by Jupiter. And the sun and the moon and Mercury will be present for a lunar eclipse on Sunday. Oh my gosh, what's this mean? Well, Pluto is the destroyer, the death star. Pluto allows us to rebirth and transition from behaviors and ways of being that no longer serve us, right? And Saturn, the taskmaster, the head teacher, wants us to build things and act and live in our integrity and glorify the gifts and the yearnings and the wants that are pure in our heart, right? So we have Saturn and Pluto conjuncting the south node. The south node is the butt of the dragon in Vedic astrology. It's old behavior, whether good or bad, it's patterns that we well, let's, let's, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's patterns that we have either completely, uh, perfected, but in most cases, and, and, and what we're, most of us are going to be dealing with right now, it's, um, aspects of behavior where we have retreated to find comfort, um, perhaps relationships that we have formed, not necessarily with the same person, but types of relationships that are dependent, that compromise our evolution, but make us feel safe and stable. Right, And so at this time, we are being asked by a higher power, by the universe, to evolve past those ways of doing things. Saturn and Pluto are saying, hey, why don't you pick a new way? Why don't you evolve past these ways, past these relationships that you felt comfortable in, but you've become dependent upon, right? So if we choose to engage in those old behaviors and those old relationships with Jupiter there as well, then we're really going to cement ourselves into nasty behavior into the next cycle of life. Um, Jupiter's going to expand upon that. It's going to allow us to really make it big. And um, Saturn's going to cement us into these ways of being, right? So, probably not the way we want to go. If, however, we want to evolve and we understand that the yearnings in our heart the gifts given on to us were given by a power greater than us. And the things that really make us happy and that really, you know, trip our trigger and make us feel alive are divine in nature. And if we have the courage to glorify those and to audaciously believe that life is good and life is about living in those gifts, glorifying those gifts, sharing those talents with the collective, that's why they're there right? If we have the bravery and the courage and the audacious belief to take action in that way, then we're going to be catapulted. Jupiter is going to expand upon these beautiful ways of being. Saturn says, yes, you get to move ahead, build things in your integrity, 
glorify the gifts given unto you. And Pluto gives the opportunity for a new birth, a new way of being, right? Um, this is a really, really powerful time. Uh, especially if you're a Capricorn or a Cancer right now, the pressure can be absolutely immense. Um, I'm a Capricorn. My birthday is this week. Uh, I just met a Capricorn. Her birthday is on Friday. Um, and uh, she was just feeling overwhelmed. And so I had this exact discussion with her, which is the exact reason I'm sharing it with you. That doesn't mean it's just Capricorns and Cancers. We're the ones on the pivotal axis that are the most affected right now, but everyone is affected. These are huge astrological dynamics that haven't occurred in over 800 years, some of these uh, transits. And the thing is, it's not that history repeats itself, guys. It's that um, the universe is mathematical in nature and astrological dynamics repeat and lend energies that are felt and uh, affect the evolution of things everywhere, including on Earth and all beings on Earth. And so if human consciousness is in the same place it was the last time these energies came around, then the chances are we'll choose a similar solution or lack of. But if we have evolved, then we stand the chance of choosing better options, you know, viable answers that allow us to grow and to connect and to exist in ways that are better for us individually and collectively. So it's not so much that history repeats itself, but these dynamics do. And we get to see how we've grown. We also get to choose better behavior. We get to choose better beliefs and better ways of being. And we get to be part of a collective evolution on the individual level first. So I share this with you today because if it feels hard, let the old ways go. If you feel like you got to escape right now somewhere, you know, go attach yourself to some system or some relationship that's really not beneficial for you and it doesn't make you feel good about yourself but you're afraid it's not going to work without that trust trust that you're capable trust that when you take the next right step your higher power god the universe rewards you trust that you're supported trust that those desires were placed in your heart divinely not to watch you fall on your face my goodness how silly would that be but to watch you personally expand and expound upon what's already here because you're a unique spark of the divine flame meant to burn in only the way that you can. So do it. Do it, flame. Do it, flame. Burn, burn, baby, burn for you and for the collective fire. And we get to grow and change and be better people and a better species game on humanity. Thanks for joining me. I love you.